some former NBA players get to take on us media schlubs in a pickup game at the Reebok headquarters in Canton to raise awareness for the Dave Cowens basketball camps. I've been going to basketball camps now for 40 years on my own overnight camp, so we decided that we had an opportunity to work with the Celtics to do the day camps. So um, that's kind of how it all worked out. Last year was our first year, and it, turned, it worked out pretty well. Not all the attention was on the poor play of the media. The Celtics are in an 0-2 hole to the Knicks, and the topic of father time catching up to Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett is definitely a talking point. But I believe that as long as you're training and you're, and you're doing what you're supposed to do, working hard, doing your recovery, and you're not banged up, see, that's the key. If you're not banged up, then you should be able to be fine. Uh, you know, from my own experience, my last year of playing, you know, once I started um, preparing the summer for my workouts, I knew I didn't work out as long. I, I quit early in a lot of stuff. I just didn't feel it. You know, I, I couldn't do the things I knew I wanted to do. I, I'm sure those guys are starting to feel that, you know, game after game. And, you know, they know when the time is right, and I'm pretty sure they'll make the right decision. The Celtics will play game three at the Garden, and the change of scenery might just be the right recipe to change momentum in the series. That according to the Hall of Fame host. Our league's about matchups. Our league's about, you know, uh, having, having a little bit of momentum. It's playing with confidence. And what you do all year long, I mean, they play now, you know, 90-some games. They, they understand what everybody's got. It's just a matter of execution and players stepping up and making shots.